Welcome back to another edition of Political Points on Local2.ca. We're on the Monday, April 11th edition, and we're into a full-fledged election campaign. The election was called on March the 25th, and uh, we'll have all the players here that matter in Sault Ste. Marie. And uh, my next guest is no stranger to this community and been in politics for 21 years, the RMP Tony Martin. Tony, welcome back. Thanks, Andy. Nice to, to be back. Show. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> the trigger was pulled, and you're into your, yeah. is this your eighth campaign? Eighth campaign, yeah. Wow. Yeah. How's it feeling so far? It's feeling good. I, I'm looking forward to it. Actually, I'm, I'm more excited uh, heading into this campaign than I have been in a long time. And it's probably because I see some real opportunity for us mm -hmm. as a party in Ottawa uh, to make some gains and, and to have mm -hmm. some uh, greater influence and in that way to uh, push forward with uh, some of the stuff that I've been working on for such a long time. Great. Are families better off uh, with the Stephen Harper government after five years uh, in, yeah. in Canada, do you think? Yeah. I, I, I don't think so. Um, I, I think that if you talk to families and, and you know, people with jobs and uh, the many, many people who right. don't have jobs, they'll uh, tell you that they're anxious, they're nervous, um, they're not sure. Uh, the um, tsunami that hit us, the financial tsunami that hit us mm -hmm. two years ago, 2008, uh, really uh, has played havoc, you know, with, with our economy. Um, and, uh, you know, hundreds of thousands of people laid off, some mm -hmm. of them back at work now, but into more precarious work, part-time contract, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, and not paying as much without the benefits of the full-time job that they were used to, you know. So there's lots of anxiety out there. There's lots of people who are concerned um, and uh, worried and, and um, you know, so, you know, was this the fault of the Harper government? Mm -hmm. uh, well, not completely. I know, being being honest, you know, it was certainly um, brought on by the um, uh, crash in, in in the financial world. Right. You know, but uh, did Harper deal with it effectively? Uh, well, yeah. After uh, we threatened to take him down yeah. in November of 2008, and uh, he prorogued Parliament and came back finally with right. a, a budget with uh, stimulus uh, in it that um, you know got us through th that difficult time. Had it not been for uh, the Liberals and ourselves uh, and the Bloc, uh, you know, getting together and saying to Harper, either you uh, wake up and smell the coffee, you right. know, and do something about this uh, huge uh, economic uh, downturn that's coming, you know, or we'll do it. Right, and the result was there. You, you, that's, yeah, that's right. All the talks about co coalitions and peer mongering, the Prime Minister tried to say the same thing back in 2004. Is this the right way to go uh, right now in the uh, early going in the election? Well, we're certainly not. Uh, that's not, uh, you know, the focus of our campaign. That's not what Jack's talking about right. out on the hostings. It's certainly not what I'm hearing about. Uh, you know, I'm knocking on doors these days uh, in, in the community, uh, you know. Uh, I, I think all of us have to uh, be uh, cognizant of the fact that ultimately, at the end of the day, the Canadian people will decide. Right, right. You know, they'll give whoever the mandate. You know, we'll uh, after on you know on, on May the third, we'll we'll all wake up and see uh, once the dust settles uh, who's been elected, right. and from there we will move forward. You know, as as government and government will take shape. Uh, you know following that in, in, in a way that uh, will be driven by, you know, the issues of the day and, and, and the numbers and, and, and all of that, you know. And if you look around the world, um, it, at most countries now, uh, in modern democracies, uh, parties join forces. They work together. They collaborate mm -hmm. in the best interest of the people that they serve. And there's no doubt in my mind, but that will happen uh, in Canada after this election as well. Jack was talking out in British Columbia about a week and a half ago about the HST. Do you think that'll be a factor in this election campaign? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, the HST, uh, every time uh, anybody buys anything anymore, uh, mm -hmm. they're looking at it. Um, and in particular, where it concerns, uh, you know, we've just been through a, a you know, a, a typical a Canadian winter and mm -hmm. we're paying uh, now uh, some pretty heavy prices for our energy uh, to heat our homes, right. you know, and, and that HST, that 13% on top of everything else, you know, it hits, it hits hard, um, particularly for people on fixed income. And for some of these folks now that are in these, uh, as I've referred to, precarious jobs, you know, part-time mm -hmm. jobs or jobs mm -hmm. that pay less. 
um, you know, the HST is, 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 is burning at them. Uh, when you go to the uh, gas pumps, the gas up yeah. now, everybody knows that on top of everything else that you're paying is now this 13% uh, that goes uh, straight to the government right. um, that uh, makes the cost of, uh, you know, going to work uh, or going to school or, or, you know, moving your kids around or whatever in northern Ontario where we have to have transportation because we don't have public transit, you know, is a very expensive proposition. And it's made more, more expensive by the the imposition of the HST, you know. So, and, and I think people have to understand that that was uh, another in a series of tax shifts right. by the government. You know, to take taxes off of uh, the backs of big companies and big corporations and move it on to the backs of consumers. You know, right. which is you and I. Right. Uh, you, you know, we're we're paying that. And as I said on your show not that long ago, you know, people out there now, and I, again, I'm picking it up at the door. You know, they're uh, taxed to the max. They're um, in debt up to their eyeballs, and uh, you know, they're wondering how much more of it they can take and that's why government has to uh, enter into uh, a discussion and a dialogue and be thoughtful about how it is the ordinary family man and woman getting up in the morning going to work you know uh, sending their kids to school uh, is going to uh, prosper and and make ends meet and we can do I mean there are choices that we can make as politicians and we make them every day you know uh, we put some forward in our discussions with uh, the Prime Minister before the budget right. um, he obviously didn't see them as the top priority uh, he gave us some window dressing but nothing of any uh, of any substance and certainly not enough to uh, you know, to, to, to support the budget, you know? I'm getting a red light. If I can get a yeah. quick answer. Jack said a couple of weeks ago that Ottawa is broken. Uh, how do we fix it? Do you have a quick answer for that? We work together. Mm -hmm. We find ways to work together. Uh, and uh, that's been difficult over the last five years with the mm -hmm. Harper government. They're just yeah. not a government that uh, are amenable, you know, and uh, move uh, naturally into that kind of collaborative effort uh, on behalf of uh, the people that we represent, on behalf of the people of Canada, and on behalf of our economy. You know, and I think that's how you fix Ottawa. You fix Ottawa by working together, uh, right. by finding ways and, and more ways uh, uh, to, to work together together in the interests of, uh, you know, our, our communities. Tony, thanks very much. We'll have you on again before the May 2nd okay. election, and best of luck to you oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. in the upcoming weeks leading to the election. Thank you. That's our uh, MP, Tony Martin, and uh, the election will be on Monday, May the 2nd, the federal election, and that's uh, Tony's eighth election over 21 years. That's this edition of Political Points. We'll see you on Thursday. Have a great week, everyone.